Thanks, Dave. At 808, it's minus three. The airport. Good morning, everyone. Alberta health officials now say 1.2 million people in our province have received a flu shot this year. That's roughly one out of every four Albertans. In the past week, a surge in the number of people getting immunized, about 150,000 in all. The province has now received its last batch of vaccine, which is in short supply, by the way, around the world. The flu shots are expected to run out by the end of the weekend. As vaccine uh, runs out and uh, we have it in the arms of more Albertans than we've ever had before, is that we go back to emphasizing the two key points that we emphasize every year. There are many things that people can do to help protect themselves, their families, and other people's families, and we will be making those messages even more obvious uh, in the time remaining to flu season. Washing hands after you've been out in public, wa uh, washing hands before you eat, making sure that if you feel ill that you do not go to school, you do not go to family gatherings, you do not go to business, uh, uh, do not go to work. Flu shot clinics will be open again today, right through Saturday. 11 a.m. is when they open, 6.30 p.m. is when they close. The clinics are in Brentwood Village Mall in the northwest and in the South Calgary Health Center. That's in Calgary's southeast. Talking about influenza, a person has died now in Alberta of bird flu, avian flu, after visiting family in China. This is the first deadly case of the H5N1 virus in North America. The unidentified victim was admitted to hospital on New Year's Day after arriving on a flight to Edmonton from Vancouver from Beijing. Two days later, that person was dead. Federal and provincial health authorities are calling the death an isolated case, and they say there is little risk to the public. Doctors and nurses at the Children's Hospital are honing their skills right now with pediatric patient simulators, the lifelike computerized pediatric mannequins that breathe, speak, even have a pulse and blood pressure. The mannequins are at the $2.3 million uh, Kids Sim Center, which is about 10 times larger than the Alberta Children's Hospital's previous simulation space. Kids Sim is able to mimic sim uh, situations that would happen in the ER, ICU, or operating room in a variety of outpatient clinics. Not only is it being used to treat health care providers, but families also with children who need specific care. The families would actually get their traditional teaching that they would have, and then we would actually put them through a scenario where they're at home, the child has a seizure, and then they'd have to go through all the steps of managing that at home. This program is one of the largest in the world with 10 computer-generated mannequins of varying ages and varying sizes. Well, changing the traffic flow in the Beltline, an inner city councillor in Calgary talking about the advantages of converting two busy one-way avenues into two two-way streets. Ward 8's Evan Woolley says turning both 11th Ave and 12th Ave Southwest in the Beltline into two-way streets would not only be safer for people and drivers, but it would also enhance local business traffic. Willie says after talking to hundreds of residents, he believes now is the time to start talking about doing this. Willie recognizes, though, such a change isn't going to happen overnight. He thinks making the switch, though, is pretty simple. Well, it's actually not very challenging to do. Um, the, the, great, the great thing about, about, uh, about two ways is, is, is it's lines and signs. And, um, and, it, and, it's, an in, and it's an inexpensive option um, to do so. I think we need to do a lot of the background work. Critics believe the conversion would make traffic even more congested, though, than it is already. In business news, we're seeing a mix of up and down in the early trading this morning. The TSX and Dow looking forward to U.S. job creation data coming out tomorrow.